What's up, my people? Uh, this morning, I have been working, doing a variety of stuff. I actually started a new concept sketch. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. But today, it's vlog 541, and I'm headed south on PCH down to Santa Monica, going to a press junket for a new movie called Mind Gamers. Mind Gamers, it's one word. You know, I'm not even sure how to explain it, but it's kind of a mind-screwing type of movie. We're gonna listen to the cast, talk about the movie, and uh, some of the people from the behind the scenes, and then if all goes well, we'll interview a few of those people. I'm back in the 2017 Mazda CX-9 SUV. Very smooth ride, and you know, it's kind of a hard thing to believe that I'm actually driving a Mazda. This is extremely nice. I'm, I'm really surprised at the fit and finish quality and the design of this thing. It's very cool, we'll have it for a week. Check it out right now. I wanna drive south, go screw with my pea brain in yours. about the quality of connection. 
If you think about the way that we interact with each other on social networks, it's about data and information. It's about tweets and graphs and updates. But if you think about the most meaningful, the most memorable moment that you've had with another person, how much of that was about data? And how much of that was about a felt sense of connection? It's almost mind bogglers. Yeah, this movie. It, it absolutely is. Yeah. It's, it's intense. Um, you know, how do you feel about having an experience like this? Because you know, uh, as an actor, you you get uh, lots of chances to do things and go places that most people don't normally get to go. But when you experience a movie like this, where there's an in-depth level, it gets pretty intense. Yeah, well, actually, you know, at the beginning, I'm just an actor for hire, so this is just another film and another script that I went out for, um, and it's quite difficult to understand on the script level. No zombies in this, though. No zombies in this one. Um, and I went in for it, and, and then got the part, and, and then really started to get really fascinated by the real world science that's involved. And, yeah. And it's really moved my understanding forward of where we are with the tech and, and how exciting everything is. Is it really as complex as people think, or is it simple? There are complex parts to it, there are simple parts to it. You know, it, yeah. you can go deep or you can go a little more shallow. Right. What do you drive? <laughs> I have a, I'm a Mazda guy, I have a Mazda Miata, okay. uh, which is my first car, because it was cheaper. Uh, I just bought a new Mazda. Uh, but, I also, new okay. uh, but I also just bought a Royal Enfield motorcycle. Nice. Which I really like, nice. my, my new thing. All right. Well, I have a car show, so you'll have to bring it to me. Oh, absolutely. All right. This is Oliver, another star of the movie. Hello. Are you having a good time? So I'm having a great time. You know, I mean, it, it went well. You, you can't have a bad time with a movie like this. <laughs> we hope not. That's the hope with any movie, I, I it's think. It's a blast. Yes, yeah, no, it, it is. Um, as I said, we, we have a, a large automotive audience. Are there any cars in this movie? Oh, okay. There is a car in this movie. Oh, yeah. ask me what it is. <laughs> It's black, it's got four wheels. Um, what do you drive? Uh, me, Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> I drive an old Volvo S60. Why? Um, why? Yeah. Because this probably isn't good for you, but it gets me from A to B. That's well, that's and, what and Well, actually, I say that it doesn't always get me from A to B. Um, it's an automatic, but somehow it stalls very often yeah. um, and takes a little bit of restarting. Um, but, 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 but it's most part, it, it gets me to A and a half. Yeah, you can't, you can't take any they chances are, getting you set. They are, yeah. you got to be safe. Um, they are safe. They're, they're heavy and they're well built. Yeah. Um, so, so it does its job, as far as I'm concerned. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to the movie. I know everyone else here is mm. looking forward to it. Uh, you must be excited. It's, it's yeah. great to do a science fiction film. Absolutely. It's got a great message. So I think so. I think it is, it's kind of changed. It's gone on. It's become this whole new beast. And, and that's exciting to be a part of. Awesome. And, and, and I hope it's worth I thank you. Great. For your time. No, thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. Okay. Um, Steve, abbreviate that to just rad. Listen to this guy's accent. Is that awesome? The Beatles accent. <laughs> I got blisters on my fingers. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, you must have had a good time. You did a lot of jumping and running in this movie. Yeah. I assume. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, right. But based on, on listening right, to you guys, um, you had a lot of smiles on your faces. <laughs> I'm formerly. formerly. Two-time Will Freeman champion. Really? 2007, 2011. So they got the right guy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, uh, did they did they really put you to the test, or was it a lot of it, you know, done well, as I, I got in, No, no, no. God, no. I wouldn't yeah. let that happen. I, mean, yeah. I, I even had a stunt double where I was like, why? <laughs> you got me involved because I'm the only one in the world who can pull off these movements. Yeah. What's he gonna do? So it's like yeah. it was, it's a bit confusing, but I understand like the, the rules of the set. Uh, like a hair, it's kind of nice. Yeah. You know, yeah. allow me to jump off these buildings. But they made you shave your head. That was good too. Yeah, but they wouldn't let me ride the scooter. You know what I mean? Uh, in case you got hair. Yeah. <laughs> what? You had a good time. I had a fantastic time. Honestly, yeah. God, it was like one of the, the best experiences of my life. Because I've done um, a few B movies in the past, and like got screwed over with contracts and stuff and all yeah. that. But the, everything just went so smooth, so right. Nice. And, 
Do you feel like you were really part of something? Yeah. And like all the skills that you've been training for the majority of your life have finally become relevant for something, you know, yeah. Yeah. inspire kids. Or well, that's inspire. awesome. That's awesome. So, you know, I, I wish you the best of luck. I, I, I think it's going to do well. It's got a great message. You know, we're talking about the quantum field. What you put out there is what you get back. That's the secret, man. That, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, I think that's just common sense, really. Yeah. I think, well, the books like The Secret will try and describe it as some kind of divine thing and all that, yeah. but the reality is if you're walking around snarling people with your face on it, you're not going to bring very many happy things to yourself, yeah, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, in the words of the Beach Boys, good vibrations. Hey, good vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. All right, that's it from Mind Gamers. I think it's going to be a good film. We didn't get to see the movie. We did watch the trailer. Yes. And uh, based on the trailer, what do you think? It has a chance. It has a chance to be awesome. Yeah. Because he said so. And this guy knows movies. I don't know how much blood is in it, though, and you're into that. I am. There's probably none. Well, little than none, maybe. <laughs> just I might get a little lucky. <laughs> and, I, and supposedly Oliver said there's one car, so I'm hoping for the best. Oh, he did. Oh, okay. look, there's a bounce room. Oh, I wish that was full. That'd be cool, man. <laughs> Get in there. Every kid's dream. I, I'd jump in there, It's the next day. Uh, I didn't get a chance to get home and wrap this thing up. It was just a little bit too late, but had a great time at the event. And uh, I think the movie looks really interesting. It's certainly from a quantum perspective, very intense, but there were some interesting discussions during the junket. You know, uh, it, it, this kind of movie opened up uh, a whole host of questions and, and things about uh, other things than the movie, you know, the, the the development of consciousness, you know, how we look at the world and, and, and how we control that. And it, it seems to be a very complex thing. It seems to be that, you know, people really don't understand how it works, you know, how the how the secret works, how the law of attraction works, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm here to say that it's not complex. It's actually very simple. And the answer lies in one one simple question that I could ask you guys, and that is, what is the the, the secret to happiness. Most people think this is kind of an elusive thing. It's like if I just if I just got got rid of my ex-wife, if I just went on this trip, if I just moved, if I just you know got more money, all these kinds of things tends to uh, they tend to think that that that's going to answer that problem for them, and and they'll be happy once they get this thing. But of course, we all know that that's not true. I have several friends that are that are literally billionaires, and they they're not necessarily the happiest people on the planet. And that reveals the power of choice. The power of choice uh, is basically that, that you get what you choose. I choose happiness. I choose to be happy on a daily basis. I choose to do things that, that consistently keep me happy. Therefore, in my own world, my own little fireball universe, I've discovered the secret. And the secret is that I have the power to choose on a daily basis. Not only on a daily basis, but on a moment to moment basis. I get to sit here and talk to you guys and think this is cool. Therefore it is. And it's as simple as that, is, is you have the ability to choose on a daily basis what you want for your life. And that's free will. That's that's our ability to choose. And, and I choose to do cool things on a daily basis. I choose to talk to people respectfully. I choose to have a good time. I choose to do car shows. I choose to do things that, that enhance my life, that make my life better in some way. I choose to do this vlog so I can interact with you guys and we can we can uh, co-mingle and talk about our lives and, and I can show you some of the things that I'm doing and then you guys can let me know what some of the things that you're doing. It's the power of choice and that's a good thing. Switching gears as we always do. Kathy's got a new project that she's working on. It's, uh, it's really interesting because she built this character more than probably about 20 years ago that she built this character. It's a kangaroo and then another client saw that on her website and said, hey, I want exactly that. So guess what? She's building a whole new kangaroo. I'm going to be showing you guys that actually today, even though it's... And then I'm also going to show you something really cool, which is right down here. I can't show you what this is. I can show you a little bit of it. That's all I'm going to show you right there. That's all you get to see. But I got a new t-shirt design coming. It's going to be starting a whole slew of, of concepts that's going to metamorphose. I, I don't know, I'm gonna be doing some more shirts. Of course, as a side note, Wheels and Waves is coming once again in February. Today is February 1st, according to this blog, and Wheels and Waves is coming on February 19th. That means 19 days for you to get prepared to 
clean up your car. It's gonna be a massive turnout. And as you know, and as I mentioned before, the first 100 cars get free coffee. And then one final thought. Uh, a very profound, wise person said this one time. I don't, I don't think it was Buddha. I'm not really sure exactly who it was, but one of those old time gurus. He said, never hold back on your farts because they travel up your spine into your brain and create crappy ideas.